Well, the Thanksgiving holiday, it brings families together, can also take us to travel to some really cool places. And here's a picture that I received tonight of what is an amazing start to the evening. The moon nice and bright. You can see a contrail there in the distance from an airplane high in the sky. And this little dot here, this yellowish orange dot, not too far away from the moon, that's the planet Jupiter. And this picture was not too far away from here in the outer banks of North Carolina tonight. Just absolutely stunning to have clear skies and comfortable conditions. And our photo from Jonah Bala there, Corolla, North Carolina. So excellent weather in that region for Thanksgiving. And the good news is it's going to be pretty dry here in West Virginia. A few peaks of sunshine on your Black Friday tomorrow. However, there's going to be a lot of cloud cover by the afternoon. So we're not talking about significant rainfall, maybe a few sprinkles there in the eastern mountains as we had later in the day. But Saturday, that's the dry day this weekend. Then we get that storm system coming in. I've been talking about it on Sunday. A few rain showers, not a very heavy rain, but behind it, much cooler weather, breezy northerly winds. And yes, 30s and 40s for high temperatures, a brisk and chilly week is ahead here as well as we close off the month of November. Now, on the radar and satellite, things look good right now outside. We will see the clouds start to thicken and increase, though. As you head into the middle of the country, there is a weak cold front here. It does not have a lot of moisture to mess around with. Behind it, a very large area of high pressure extending all the way up into Canada there will bring in some dry conditions, but also cool and chilly, especially in the mornings with a little warm up in the afternoon the next couple days. But next week, we're not going to have much improvement from morning to afternoon. So if you have some fun here tomorrow night on your Friday, the St. Albans Festival of Lights. It opens up now for you to drive your car up through the park and see some of the amazing Amazing lights and scenery that have been set up for almost a half a mile stretch uphill there in St. Albans. You have from now all the way until December 23rd to enjoy this ride with your family. And yes, the season, it's just beginning. So make sure you check out all of the beautiful lights there in St. Albans here, 6 to 9 p.m. starting tomorrow night, the opening night. All right, here is your future cast. And yes, a lot more cloudy as we head into Friday. There will be some clearing in the southeast in Ohio, though, and this clear slot will make its way into the southern and western counties by the afternoon. But mostly cloudy skies keep our temperatures on the cool side. The potential is there for a spotty shower in our eastern counties. I'm not seeing any right now. Mostly sprinkles, not significant rainfall. We stay dry in Charleston, Huntington through about 5 o'clock. And here's the deal. Friday night, very cloudy. But Saturday, things do improve. A nice day is in store for Saturday afternoon with plenty of sunshine and our temperatures get up near 50. Just a light breeze outside, so very comfortable. No major issues. But Sunday, that's when the pattern does start to change. So good weather will be around for the University of Charleston football game at Laidley Field. They are taking on Kutztown there for a 1 o'clock kickoff. And it will be around 50 degrees with cool and dry conditions. Let's go on the Sunday real quick. You can see it, the cloud cover starts to thicken. Rain showers make their way in for the afternoon and evening, but the morning should be okay. A light rainfall, 10 to a quarter of an inch of rain. The big thing, though, cooler temperatures come in behind this cold front. We'll be talking about even a few snowflakes possible for Monday and Tuesday. Breezy conditions, northerly winds, and yes, cold and sunny there. 37 on Tuesday and a little bit warmer by the middle of next week.